Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Lunar Ghosties here, and welcome back to my channel. We are back with another Sims 4 speed build. It has been a hot minute since I have built over on this channel, and I'm really excited to bring you this cute vet clinic in honor of the brand new expansion pack, Horse Ranch. This is a base game and cats and dogs only build. It is called the Galloping Gulch Vet Clinic, but of course, you know, the character limits. It's only called Galloping Gulch Vet in game, so close enough, but I like to imagine the clinic is there as well. When we first learned about the new Horse Ranch expansion pack, I was really excited to see what potential cross-pack compatibility the Sims team would give us. And I think it's wishful thinking, but I would absolutely love if there was cross-pack compatibility with the vet career. I think if your Sims were able to help cure like sick horses and everything, that would be really, really cool. But I think that's asking a lot unfortunately, because they are giving us a decent amount of cross-pack compatibility from the looks of it, from the live stream and everything, but I just don't think, unless, you know, we, we hop in game and discover it, I don't think that's a possibility, unfortunately. But leave it up to imagination. This is also a build that I am doing for my Sims in Bloom Let's Play. I'm getting a little bit ahead of the game because Gen 2 after Daisy, the whole purpose of Gen 2 is to be like an animal lover and a veterinarian. All that being said, if you have not watched my Sims in Bloom Let's Play and you would like to, there is a playlist up on my channel and I will be linking it down below. There are about Eight episodes released so far, nine and ten will be coming shortly after this video goes out as well, so you can look forward to that, and then as soon as episode ten airs, we will be playing within the brand new expansion pack. When I was searching for inspo for this vet clinic, I wanted it to look pretty updated, but also be able to fit into this new world of Chestnut Ridge. Now, I haven't really watched any of the Simmers who helped build for the new pack, any of like their builds, so I don't really know what the style is, but I imagine since it's like a Wild West type town, things aren't like super updated, it's very farmhouse. So I figured the landscaping here would look pretty good for the environment that Chestnut Ridge is in, but then I got rid of it and put a front deck instead, but don't worry, those cacti will be coming back later on when I wrap up the video with some landscaping. And I wanted this vet clinic to be pretty big because, like I said, this is going to go in Chestnut Ridge, so leave it up to imagination with the horses, if you will but I imagine that we're gonna need a lot of different rooms for a lot of different animals because you also even have the new lambs and the goats. So there's a lot of animals that are gonna need help in Chestnut Ridge because you also have llamas, cows, chickens. We, we've got a whole farm to take care of. So there's gonna need to be a pretty big vet clinic to take care of all those cute little animals. Out of all the different simmer types, I think I would definitely consider myself more of a storyteller than a builder. However, when it does come to building in my game, I think I prefer to build community lots over houses and everything like that because, I don't know, there's just something about community lots that brings people together and there's more space to work with. You don't have to worry too much about the landscaping, I feel like. As long as it has like curb appeal, that's all you really need to worry about. And as far as packs go, I really love building with cats and dogs. I feel like cats and dogs even though it was like an earlier expansion pack, it really holds up and the style 
works in so many different worlds, which I think is just, I don't know, there's just something about this pack that I absolutely love. It's its one of those timeless expansion packs. I will say, as far as bathrooms go, I find those rooms to be the most challenging when it comes to community lots because I either will forget to put a bathroom in and then have to figure out how to squeeze one in last minute, or I just, I don't know, it doesn't look like a bathroom. And since this was base game and cats and dogs only, I've had to get creative with the toilets because obviously I can't use the bathroom stalls that we received from the Discover University pack, which I normally will use in community lots because that's what you see. So I kind of just created my own little bathroom stalls there, but I'm really proud of it. And I just can't express my excitement for Horse Ranch enough. Like this pack, like I'm a horse girly through and through. I used to horseback ride when I was younger. I did a little bit of horseback riding in college and I'm more so an English rider. Never tried Western, but I know this pack is very centered on Western riding since it is kind of like a Wild West pack. So I'm excited to learn a lot about Western riding. And hopefully the swatches and everything of this build kind of matches the rest of Chestnut Ridge. I tried to go with neutral colors, mostly a lot of wood because I know we're getting a lot of wood in this pack. And this was pre-built before the base game update. So the build that is available on the gallery does not have ceilings, but I did go back in once we got the update and gave a nice like old fashioned looking tile ceiling to this build. So I will leave that up to you guys to, you know, envision your own ceilings. Go wild, go crazy, use the ceiling tool. It's really, really cool. I also took screenshots pre the free build. So enjoy the <laughs> pre tab mode build at the end because there will be some screenshots thrown in at the end. So make sure you check it out because I just I let the sims go crazy and there's sims dogs cats all over this build in the screenshots just to give you guys the idea of how this vet clinic works and I will say me and curtains are gonna fight because <laughs> the curtains in this game I don't know what's going on lately but they have been giving me such an issue and I don't know, they're just not clipping correctly on some of the windows anymore. I don't know if it's just a me issue or if I think they just look weird, but they actually don't. Curtains aside though, I would love to know what you guys are most excited for and looking forward to in the brand new expansion pack, Horse Ranch. I definitely, obviously, am looking forward to the horses and the other farm animals and Honestly, the nectar making looks really cool as well, and playing Sims and Bloom and having Nox as part of our household, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm very excited to see the potential for those two and all that they can get up to in Chestnut Ridge, but I think this pack couldn't have come at a better time because Gen 2 will be a thought soon, and the fact that Gen 2 is an animal lover I just thought this world and the premise of this whole pack would be absolutely perfect and great timing on The Sims part for this Let's Play as well. So thank you so much, Sims team, for finally giving us horses. As always, if you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up so that I know you guys want to see more build videos in the future. I'm trying to get more confidence with building because as I said, community lots are a lot easier for me, but I would love to build more of my own houses maybe on camera. I get camera shy when it comes to building, so definitely let me know if you would like to see more builds from me in the future, whether that's residential, community, whatever and make sure you also hit that subscribe button so that you guys can keep up with my Sims and Bloom series and I will be, fun fact, a little uh, 
little insider knowledge for you guys. I will be posting another legacy challenge very, very soon. I am going to attempt the solar system legacy challenge again. It will be my third attempt, but you know what they say, third time's the charm, so I'm excited and looking forward to doing that again. Genova Sims is an absolute genius when it comes to making legacy challenges and I just I really want to attempt the solar system legacy challenge again so you guys can look forward to more sims in bloom as well as solar system legacy and who knows maybe more build videos challenges let me know so definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can stick around and see what's next. Remember to stick around to the end so that you guys can see all of the different screenshots and get a little bit of a closer look into this build. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!